The first time I saw a hagfish was while I was volunteering here at Scripps back in high school. My predecessor, Ron McConaughey, was an old hand at collecting animals. He was a great collector. So one day, Ron asked me to go out and help him collect some of these animals out in the La Jolla Canyon offshore. We went out. I had no idea what to expect other than he handed me a line and said, pull. A thousand feet later, up came this small minnow trap that was filled with these wildly squiggling animals and leeching with this very strange mucus snot type mixture. Okay, let's see. Uh... Now, because I knew you guys were coming today, we uh, set up a small aquarium to show what the hagfish look like, maybe out in the deep sea. We collected these animals from about a mile and a half from where we're standing right now, out in about a thousand feet in the submarine canyons just offshore here in La Jolla. So in the world, there's about 64 species that have been described throughout all oceans and basically most of the deep sea environment. This species is Eptotretus stauda, and it's known as the Pacific hagfish. Uh, it has this nice dark pink on the top with a light bottom underneath. They don't have true eyes. Instead, they have this small eye spot that you can see right here. It's not a complex eye by any means. They're actually virtually blind, um, but they rely on other senses, like their sense of smell, which is highly acute, and their sense of touch. The animal has probably adapted this very smooth body so that it can move around very easily when it's inside of a dead whale or a dolphin. Okay, so the way you see these animals coiled up like this is probably the way they spend a lot of their time down on the deep sea. Now, hagfish don't have true jaws like most fishes out in the water. What they do is they have this rasping-like tongue. They'll swim over to whatever they want to feed on, latch into it, and they're able to tie their bodies into a knot and move that knot up and down their bodies. So what they'll do, they'll grab onto that whale, make a knot, push that knot down its body until the knot is pressed up against the whale, and then they're able to pull their head out with that mouth full of flesh, and that's the way they eat. They'll do that a few times until they're able to make a big enough hole to where they can then even actually go inside this animal and eat it from the inside out. It's just amazing what these can do. But the most unique thing is this sliming capability that they have. Just one of these can turn an aquarium like this into solid slime in about three seconds. They use this as a defense mechanism to escape from predators and anything else that they want to completely repulse, including myself when I first saw these animals. Because hagfish are such good slimers, we found this to be a pretty good way to transfer animals from one container to another. This is what happens. And so this is just a little bit compared to what one animal can make out in the wild. And as you can see, it's a very unique type of structure. And it's not the most appetizing thing in the world. Matter of fact, this is enough to suffocate some fish. And as you can see, it's just really thick, amazing type stuff. Now, you might wonder, what is this stuff? Well, it's a protein, and the molecules are stored in those little slime glands that we saw earlier along the sides of the body. When the animal puts this protein into the water, the protein explodes. So this slime is probably the reason why these animals have survived for 300 million years is that it's an amazing defense mechanism. I'm disgusted and I can only imagine what a predator might feel if it should end up with a mouthful of this stuff. I'm fortunate enough to have interns here work with me over the summer. Her name's Lily Bullock and this is the first time Lily has ever seen slime like this before and if you want, okay good, you're bold enough to hold on to the stuff. What's it feel like? It's not. <laughs> it's not <good. laughs> um, mucus, I guess. Um, kind of, I don't know, kind of 
rubbery, actually. And very slippery. And disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty weird stuff. Great to use for Halloween, huh? Definitely. 